What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest build of Evolution X based on Android 15 and this is the version 10.3 Yes, I have made a video on this particular ROM on Poco A5 as well. If you want to know deep down about the features of this ROM, you can check out that video. But I'll just skip the customizations and try to show you the basic experience of this ROM on Redmi K20 Pro. So let's begin. And by the way, I'm shooting this video on the Poco A5 with a Gcam and I'm testing it with 4K 60fps and all. And I'll try to make a video about that too soon. So stay tuned for that. Here also, I have got plenty of updates. And let me tell you with the updates and all it just becomes a lot more stable and a lot more better with each and every update in my opinion so you can check out the notes right here in the evolver section in the theme section we still have this notification style power menu style and the progress bar and stuff like that all those things are still there and in the miscellaneous settings there are the component spoofing like tensor kind of features we have the play store spoof google photo spoof all these things are still here so yeah it has still amazing amount of customization by the way the stock launcher here is still the pixel launcher and with this we do not have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen but it does have double tap to sleep on the status bar and it does work and the pickup gesture here also works perfectly fine let me show you yep as you can see there is the android 15 kind of wake up display and I can just tap the fingerprint scanner and it unlocks. To the left of the home screen, we have the goals discovered page. Swiping up will get you to the app drawer. And you will notice there is that new accord kind of app. That is a stock music player, you can say, for playing music, which are there in your phone's internal storage. And we also get the BCR so you can record calls and stuff. And Vaulty calls and 4G and everything will be working fine. Of course, this is not a 5G device, so 5G will not be working here. But except for that, normal Vaulty calling 4G and stuff network will be working fine. And Wi-Fi and stuff that I have tested, it's totally working fine. In terms of the quick setting panel, this is how it looks like. Of course, you can edit and add even more toggles, but I have added these much. And the power menu here looks like this. Just notice how beautiful it looks. If you tap on restart, you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here. Now, let's talk about the stock camera here. Well, we are getting the MIUI camera or like a kind of camera. And with that, if you just swipe up, you will get plenty of features. Just notice there is a panorama, there is a vlog, there is the short film slow motion time lapse and we also have the movie effects long exposure clone all those things also there is a director mode 0.66 x lens is working fine 1x 2x all these things are totally working fine here and in the video settings let me show you there is 4k 60 fps which is not even there for poco a5 that is a bummer for poco a5 but we have the 4k 60 fps on the redmi k20 pro which is a five year old device so that is insane of course you can switch it to 1080 or 720 and of course there will be 60 fps available for all of them in the pro mode as you can see there is the pro mode video settings as well so you can shoot pro mode videos with this particular stock camera and there's a documents mode enhanced mode all these things you can enable and let me show you with the portrait mode the front camera and stuff Yes, that too, it's totally working fine. And there is that background blur. I'll give you some samples here on the screen so that you get an idea about the overall camera performance and all. And if you just swipe down, you will get this like a camera kind of features. You can already guess I have zero complaints about the stock camera here and I'm just loving it. Now, in terms of the battery settings, this is how it looks like. We have the battery information right here. So you can see the hardware kind of things. It will show you the cycle count. But in my opinion, it's not that accurate because it will show you the cycle count from when you clean flash the ROM. So right now it shows only six. And we have the voltage, the temperature, all these things you can notice. We have the battery widget, the diagnostics, and we have the idle manager. The charging control is there. But if you remember that, your fast charging speeds will drop. Let me tell you about the battery life. With the Aku battery app I have tested with, let me show you. The screen on time here that it's showing it's about six and a half hours or seven hours you can say these are all estimated numbers guys but still the battery life that i have been getting it's decent in my opinion and the screen off here shows as five days that's a huge amount of standby time i would say about a week we have the combine use about 40 hours it shows in the health section for me the battery health shows up as 85 percent by the way i have replaced the battery from the service center once fairly new battery in my opinion because i haven't used it very much and the fast charging speeds and stuff, everything is working kind of fine, no problems with it. In terms of overall UI performance, in test UI website shows 60 FPS or 60 Hz. The display doesn't have overclocking here. But overall, while scrolling through the UI, it's not a problem at all. As you can see, while I'm scrolling on X, stuff loads pretty fine. And opening and closing content, it's just like smooth enough, I would say. No problems with it so far. And switching between apps, it's not a problem either. So overall, the daily driving experience on this particular ROM, I would say, will be really, really good. No huge issues at all that I have faced actually. Everything, the scrolling and stuff, totally fine. It's still a daily driver well device because it scores almost 6 lakh plus in Antutu. And you can check out the other benchmark scores from the screen. So even in 2025, I would say these amount of benchmarks 
is still pretty competitive if you compare with a h50 fusion or something those devices still have similar scores they might be a little bit better in some but this old device it's still rocking with a custom rom and it has still latest android 15 and stuff of course huge thanks to the developers who make it possible for devices like this like new with latest software updates and of course if you want to check out the customizations present on this rom you can check out the poco f5's evolution x video there i have shown already all the customizations which are present the device specific things are there if you just scroll down in themes you will get the udfps icons and these are the icons which are present by default so that you can choose or change your fingerprint scanner icons and even the fingerprint scanner animations are there therefore the animations as you can see turn lock super fast no problems with these animations as well here let me show you the security settings this is how it looks like in the device unlock settings in the settings of it we have the auto confirmation lock and we have the enhanced pin privacy scramble pin layout power button is it locks and there is the face unlock and fingerprint both i'll show you those later on and here of course we still have the private space this is a new feature of android 15 and in the mode settings we have the trust we scroll down more we have the clipboard auto clear hide screen capture hide developer status all these things and there is a theft protection of android 15 is still there and you can just turn them on if you'd like to as you can see so that thieves cannot snatch your device so this is nice talking about the fingerprint scanner speed yes the screen of a 40 it's totally working fine let me show you i just tap the fingerprint scanner whenever my display is totally off here i'm just tapping on the fingerprint scanner area and it just unlocks let me show you one more time now i'll show you with the always on display turned on and here the always on display looks like this from the always on display if i just tap the fingerprint scanner it just straight up unlocks it looks beautiful in my opinion just notice so yeah, unlocking speed and the animation looks great. Time to set up the face unlock. And by the way, the app lock is there in the app settings. After setting up face unlock, this is how it looks like in the settings. And I'm gonna show you the face unlock settings or face unlock speed. I'll just double tap to wake. And as you can see, it unlocks, it pops out the front camera. Just notice how cool it looks like. And yeah, in 2025, let me know how many devices can actually do that. And the app lock looks like this. And that too works with the face unlock. This is just great. And look at the animations. They look beautiful in my opinion. In terms of the settings panel, it looks so beautiful. We have this pixel kind of look. We have the profile section right here, the customizations. And if you just scroll down a little bit more, the about section is not on the bottom, it's right here. And there is also that backup or copy data section. So you can backup or restore your data from right here if you like to. Talking about the about section, this is how it looks like. We got the Evolution X logo up top. We have the Android version as Android 15, of course and it has the easter egg and we have the evolution x version as 10.3 the security patch is latest of february 5th 2025 and that too on this five year old device this is huge and we have the stock kernel as the 4.14 open LR kind of kernel build maintainer is still of course you go up so huge thanks to the developer of this rom we have the build date here as 11th february 2025 in the system panel settings as you can see we have the system updater still so you can check for updates whenever there is a newer update available you can update it from here also or if you don't know how to flash this rom of course the flashing guide will be present in the description as usual now in the buttons and stuff of course we have the edge long swipe actions and we have the long press power button toggle torch then we have the control playback, the reorient, click to take partial screenshot, all those things. In the gestures, we have the quickly open camera, the navigation mode is here. In the settings of it, we get the pill length, pill radius, and we have the swipe to invoke assistant, all those things. I'll show you those. We have the double tap to check phone, lift to check phone. Swipe to screenshot is also there, and that too is working fine. There is the share, edit, delete, Google Lens, and even the capture mode feature here. Here, if I just open X, and let me show you here. If I just, okay, so I swipe from the corners here. As you can see, it brings Gemini, so... Yeah, it should detect my voice and stuff. Shows this Gemini so or something like that. But yeah, I'll just hold the pill bar right now. It shows that circle to search kind of feature. And yes, as you can see, holding the bottom bar now lets you search what's on your screen, all these things. And right now I can make a circle and it will search depending on the things you are seeing. Not so much good things. Here, as you can see, there is the translate kind of button as well. So if you want to translate your screen text let me try that one more time with the translate text here if i just tap on it as you can see it translates the screen text so this is really nice and also here the circle to search again it's totally working fine no need to worry about it there is also the usb configuration for convenience you can set it to file transfer of course in the app settings let me show you there is a clone apps and all so with this you can have two accounts of whatsapp or facebook or whichever app you would like to and here we have the app lock. I have already set that up. 
I'll show you that later on and in the game space you can add any game over here and it will show you that gaming FPS and stuff. This particular ROM does not have any kind of display overclocking as of now but yes with 60 hertz gaming should be working fine here. I'm not a gamer so I didn't actually test gaming perfectly but yeah and there is also that sidebar kind of feature so if you want to have some apps on that sidebar you can definitely do that as you can see but I think it will launch yep as you can see it launches those apps in a separate window a smaller window so this is really nice and you can close it from right here in the sound and vibration settings this is how it looks like the volume panel here looks like this you can put the phone to vibrate or silent from here expanding the volume panel looks like this you can change the output device from right here if you connect to a bluetooth headset or something you just scroll down let me show you there is the vibration and haptic feedback you can control the touch feedback in call vibration and everything let me scroll down we have the dial per tone screen lock sound etc charging sound and stuff and there is the dolby atmos as well so you can customize that with the equalizer stuff and we have this intelligent equalizer as well speaker virtualization and stuff like that you can enable dialogue enhancer also you can enable bass and volume leveler and enhancer both of these things are there we have the clear speaker mode as well. Display settings not that interesting but yeah it has basic stuff like the colors and stuff you can customize and we have the double tap to sleep and stuff screen predictor mode is there that's it there is no high refresh customization but that's fine. We have the dark theme and stuff and you can use the pure black or pitch black mode if you'd like to. Screen timeout of course you can customize from here. I just enabled the dynamic clock and right now as you can see the bigger lock screen clocks are actually working fine and here wallpapers and styles and right now as you can see it shows all the clocks right here so yeah it looks beautiful here in the always on display it looks like this if i tap the film it's gonna just notice that animation of android 15 looks great also this clock looks so beautiful let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the latest build of evolution x on the redmi k20 pro i think this version 10.3 of evolution x it's just flying on the redmi k20 pro and it just makes the device a lot more usable thank you so much for watching this video guys please share it with your friends if you have liked this video subscribe to the channel if you have not yet give this video a thumbs up if you liked it this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now